can't open the gate. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boop. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> open up. You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. No need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. Piper! Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for statement, parts. Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No. No, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth, <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? An infant boy. Kidnapped. Did you say kidnapped? Well, McDonough, Diamond City Security can investigate this. How about all the other kidnapping reports you've been no, Don't listen to her. Well... I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, there is uh, one private citizen. Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down. Usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any kidnappings? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? 
I didn't mean to lie, officer. I, it all just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first one Piper pulled into a heap of trouble they weren't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Kiddo, how are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <gasps> Is Mayor McDonough telling the truth? What does he have to hide? Read the public for the hard questions. Well, hello. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Thanks, I guess. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, lady? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you, too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady.
hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. It's a combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Don't let the stress mm -hmm. of life kill you. Relax, secretary. Come come on. On. Perfection for sale. And tool he says. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I'm not a. Don't move, Synth. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a synth! He'll kill us all! Hey, you that Kyle, guy? no! Hey, Quincy, do you sell any... ointment? I got me this itch. Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Hey. He, he pulled a gun on me. My own brother. What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. I need you to step away, Scaver. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. You got bricks for ears? I said get the hell out of here now. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. What do you sell here? Everything, Mum. Miss Myrna prizes herself on being a collector of quality odds and ends from all over the Commonwealth. We also buy any unwanted items you may be carrying on your person. And we're open 24 hours a day. Just browsing for now. Remember, we're open 24 hours a day. Don't walk outside the wall undefended. High quality protection for sale. Sometimes you gotta wonder, does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? Well, that's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the freedom trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it, and that kind of talk is gonna get you snatched up by the synths. I told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Hey. His ties. Wait there. <laughs> oh, Nick. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. <laughs> Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. People with power there care about two things. 
style, and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Hey. Come on. Where it is, something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? Been abandoned forever. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> the woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth. Diamond City, how does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. <sighs> as heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. They just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now, what would you like to say? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that that you'll see them again, or 
At least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. <laughs>